I'm going to take a lap around the city. I want to see some spots I don't usually go to. I've been walking by this convenience store for the last two years, and I've always wanted to go in. So today I finally did. It's nice inside. It kind of reminds me of the bodegas in New York. I haven't had a Pop-Tart since I was 16. I used to eat Pop-Tarts for lunch when I was in high school. I was always starving though. It wasn't a great idea looking back, but it makes for a good story. I'm gonna buy a Twix to hold me down until lunch. I love Twix. It's my favorite chocolate. Twix and Whoppers were my go-tos on Halloween. And the craving never went away. Now it's all I crave. I only ever see the young cops do traffic duty. I hope he works his way up. I'm gonna head to Chinatown for lunch. I'm in the mood for some noodles. So first I gotta take the train into Boylston. And while I'm here, I wanna take a walk around Boston Common. This is actually where I saw my first squirrel. There's a lot of memories here. And I always see something new every time I come. I found this brick on the ground and it was wrapped up in some plastic. I like Boston because it's built from a lot of bricks. There's a lot of guys here who lay bricks for a living. I always wondered what that's like. To spend your days working hard, just laying down bricks. And come home dirty to a pretty girl. It reminds me of something that my mom told me yesterday. She said she would have rather had me go work with my dad, just throwing down steel, instead of having me go to Harvard. That way she'd at least have a chance to see me. I guess parents just like to spend time with their kids. Just like this dad and his daughter. Looking back, I guess I did have a chance at that simple life. Just like those bricklayers. When I come here, I like to see the dogs. It always reminds me of that French painting. The one with all those people at the park on a Sunday afternoon, just playing with their dogs. On Sundays, all the kids are excited to go play at the park. They're always running around. Even the skaters feel a little more free on Sundays. I just got to Chinatown. There's a feeling when you walk in through the gate. When you walk in, you always see guys working on the streets. I gotta walk around and try to find some food. The spot I usually go to isn't open today. It's alright though. I found this ramen shop. I've never been here before, but I want to try it. I really liked it once I walked in. It's a nice atmosphere. I got a seat by the window. Whenever I go to a ramen shop, I always get the same order. It's a bowl of ramen and a side of takoyaki. And no matter what city I'm in, it's always the same order. I used to get this in New York and Chicago. And now I get it in Boston. The takoyaki is the best part. It has octopus inside. I keep seeing this guy around. I guess he runs a lot of jobs around here. I bet everyone here knows him. I bet he's respected. That ramen was really good. I'd come back again. I could go for some dessert. There's a pastry shop across the street. All the stuff here looks really good. I've never had one of these, so I wanted to try one. But when I walked up to the counter, the lady told me that they only took cash, so I had to leave without it. That was on me though. I knew I should have brought cash. If you bring cash into Chinatown, you get to gamble with these guys. This is where all the old timers come to play cards. This is the ladies table. And this is where the studs play. I always like coming here. It's like I'm watching a movie play out in real life. I've always wanted to sit down to play, but I'm too afraid to ask. I'm not much of a gambler, but I think it's interesting. I know a guy who takes trips down to Vegas to count cards. And he packs all his cash in brown lunch bags. I guess he's living a movie too. 
I don't like to play cards because I'd rather save that money and put it in the stock market. A couple years ago, that Vegas guy actually taught me how to invest. And I took it serious. I wanted to find ways to save money. So I set a budget for my groceries. And I switched my phone carrier to this company called Mint Mobile. And now two years later, I'm partnered with them. I pay around 20 bucks a month for my phone bill now. And I put all the money I save into the stock market. And those monthly investments are setting me up for a better future. I like Mint Mobile. I think they represent a small choice you can make to improve your life. They offer premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. And they're built on the nation's largest 5G network. And switching is really easy. You can keep your device and phone number. You can use my link in the description to get started with Mint. Right now I'm walking to one of my favorite parts in the city. Boston Harbor. It's a really nice spot to take a girl. I like coming here because I like to see the boats. I want to buy one someday. That's why I'm investing. I think I want to get one because it seems so unattainable. This is my favorite view. It makes me think of Moby Dick. That book actually took place here in Mass. It's about a captain who's obsessed with catching a whale. And I relate to the guy. Except I'm looking for a boat instead of a whale. I can't be the only one. There's a story about a stockbroker named Jordan Belford, the Wolf of Wall Street. He was chasing boats too. And he finally got one someday. And when they made a movie about him, there's this line where he talks about being like Captain Ahab. I think I know what he meant. Everyone's out to catch a whale. I'm still looking for mine. I'm gonna head back now. I've never walked through these streets before. I get to see a different part of the city. A pretty wealthy part. I've never seen a pink car before. Or a gold building. This is the Kraft family building. And I've never seen a building named after a whole family. That belongs to Robert Kraft. He owns the New England Patriots. I wonder how big his boat is. I wonder what it's like to be Robert Kraft at a Patriots game. I think I have some idea. I used to work for a big company, and they took me to my first Red Sox game. But they had their own private booth. When I walked into the booth, they had all-you-can-eat clam chowder. And I watched the game with all these big shot company guys, and I felt something. At the time, I couldn't figure out what it was. But now I think I know. I wanted to be a big shot too, just like Robert Kraft. I want to own something, like a boat. I want to chase whales in the water, like Captain Ahab. <laughs>